Hey you, my name is Emily, the Drone Angel, and welcome back to your one-stop shop for everything drone related. We all know that Christmas comes earlier each year, and there's one question that I start getting over and over again in my Instagram DMs right about now. Hey Emily, there are so many DJI drones out there. What drone should I get my husband, wife, child, friend, neighbor, second cousin, boss, ex-girlfriend's baby daddy? <laughs> Okay, maybe I don't get too many questions about that last one, but what drone to give as a gift to someone in your life is kind of hard for me to answer unless I know who they are and what they plan to use that drone for. So in today's video, I'm gonna drop my top recommendation for the best DJI drone to get for your children, teens, adult hobbyists, and adult professionals. Then I will get into where it's looking like the best Black Friday, Cyber Monday deals will be this year in 2020 for DJI drones. Please note that since all of these recommendations are about DJI drones, they are specifically for people that want to capture photos or video content with their drone, not necessarily meant for people that just want to fly for fun or race. Overall, from my personal experience, I find that cheap drones tend to break more easily and they can be even more difficult to fly than the larger models. Certain DJI drones have return to home features, meaning they will return home if they lose connection with the controller. They are also easier to fly since they have better stabilization. The cheaper the drone, the less likely it will give you control over certain manual settings like ISO and shutter speed, which if you're pursuing this as a photographer, you won't have control over those settings. This video is not sponsored by DJI, but I have found that DJI drones are the best quality and value for your money in the long run. Maybe by next year, there will be tech advancements made by other brands, and next year's video will be about those other brands. But for now, in 2020, I'm going to stick to DJI as my trusted drone recommendations. And before we jump into it, please hit the subscribe button so you're notified when new videos go up. If you're anything like me, then you want to introduce the young people in your life to droning at an early age. So if you're looking for something that isn't a piece of junk but also won't break the bank, then I recommend checking out the Tello. It's a fun and exciting toy that you can fly indoors and outdoors if there's little to no wind. This little drone has an HD camera with image stabilization and some sensors for a more stable flight. It also has fun flight modes that allow you to flip and do tricks. It has up to 13 minutes of flight time. It typically costs $100 before any discounts. If you're purchasing a drone for a teen or someone that is new to droning and they don't need the most serious drone out there, then I recommend looking at the new DJI Mini 2. This drone is perfect for that friend that just wants to fly for fun or that teen that wants to take their Instagram and TikTok content to the next level. The DJI Mini 2 is the smallest Mavic series drone released to date. It's super lightweight and it can fit in the palm of your hand. It's small but mighty and I've seen it handle some windy conditions flying over whales at the drone Droning with Whales and Dolphins workshop. It's easy to fly and it has automatic return to home capabilities. It also has fun quick shot modes for capturing aerial content and has a flight time of 31 minutes. It typically costs $449 before any discounts. The Mavic Air 2 is another great beginner drone and it's a step up from the Mavic Mini 2 in terms of camera quality and flight features. It's a great entry level drone for someone that wants to get into aerial photography and videography. It's ideal for these type of drone fields. The Mavic Air 2 shoots 4K at 60 frames per second with 48 megapixel stills, which gives you better quality content than the Mini 2. You also have control of the shutter speed and ISO with the Mavic Air 2, which allows you to have more control over the camera settings and exposure. This is why I think you should buy this if you or the person you're buying it for wants to start learning more about photography and videography than just drone line in general. It has a ton of fun intelligent flight modes to help you get creative with your shots. It also has obstacle sensors to prevent you from crashing. And it costs $799 before discounts. If that price is a bit more than what you bargained to buy for someone, even with those Black Friday, Cyber Monday deals, then I recommend just finding a couple friends to pitch in with you because if that really is the right drone for that person, you really don't wanna pass up on this little dude. Now let's say you wanna step up your work and start producing very high quality content. At this point, you're probably doing this for a possible stream of income and I highly recommend checking out two drones, but don't be afraid to buy one of them even if it is your first drone. As long as you get the right support from DJI tutorials, watching videos on YouTube, or maybe getting hands-on coaching like I did, you will be good to go. These are still considered consumer drones, so they are still easier to fly than the big professional drones. 
The two that I recommend for this level are the Mavic 2 Pro and the Phantom 4 Pro version 2. One of the easiest ways to tell them apart is that the Mavic 2 Pro is smaller and easier to transport, so we'll just talk about that one first. If you're looking for a drone that is not too big or heavy, but can still capture high quality content that can sell, then I highly recommend checking out the Mavic 2 Pro. It's one of the most popular drones in the world. And also for a professional grade drone, it's extremely portable and affordable. It's ideal for this type of drone. What really makes it stand out from its counterpart, the Zoom, is its 1 inch 20 megapixel sensor Hasselblad camera, meaning you can capture some of the highest quality professional grade photography pound for pound. The Mavic 2 Pro gives you complete control over the ISO, aperture, and shutter speed, which is great if you want to take your work to the next level and have complete control over the exposure and camera settings. It has a flight time of 31 minutes and typically costs $1,599 before discounts. The price tag definitely puts this drone into the category of a business expense and not just a casual hobbyist toy. But then this is a drone for working content producers. Now let's talk about the Phantom 4 Pro version 2.0. It's ideal for this type of droning. Yes, it is bigger in size than the Mavic 2 Pro, and it requires a bigger bag, but the Phantom 4 Pro has its advantages compared to other drones. I have found that the video quality is a bit better than the Mavic 2 Pro. The Phantom 4 Pro shoots 4K at 60 frames per second, while the Mavic 2 Pro only shoots 4K at 30 frames per second. The 60 frames per second with the Phantom 4 Pro allows you to slow down your clips in post-production to create cinematic clips like this one. After lots of flights with it, I have found it to be more stable in windy conditions and even compared to the Mavic 2 Pro. It also has fun, intelligent flight modes to help you capture cinematic shots that would normally be difficult to capture manually. The Phantom 4 Pro version 2.0 has a flight time of about 30 minutes, and it typically costs $1,599 before discounts. Now, this piece of advice goes for all the drones I just discussed. If you have the budget for it, I highly recommend purchasing the add-on accessories, also known as the Fly More Kit. It bundles together extra batteries, propellers, and a multi-battery charger. This battery-to-power bake adapter is very useful for recharging in the field. I know it's more money up front, but these extra items are worth having. All right, so I have given my top DJI drone gift picks for 2020, and to recap, the winners are the Tello, the Mini 2, the Mavic Air 2, the Mavic 2 Pro, and the Phantom 4 Pro version 2.0. Now let's talk about where we can get these drones at the best price. This year, Black Friday falls on November 27th, which is usually when sales start and run until Cyber Monday, which is November 30th. But due to the craziness that 2020 has been, some companies such as DJI have started their sales early on November 20th to spread things out a little bit and give their customers and employees time to shop. While you can, of course, get DJI drones at certain stores, my recommendation is to buy online to avoid the crowds and local inventory shortages, especially this year for obvious reasons. While there is a large number of smaller private online resellers, the most reputable places to buy drones are Amazon, B&H, Best Buy, Walmart, Target, Costco, and DJI itself. DJI also has their own Amazon storefront, so you can buy straight from DJI with the convenience of Amazon. From what I've checked, Amazon appears to be the clear winner based upon discount pricing, availability, and accessory kits. DJI sets the prices for the market, but it's important that you shop for yourself as well because during this Black Friday season, prices can change vastly overnight. As of this recording, I'm seeing some of the best sales on Amazon with some drones listed at $200 off. So if you were ever wanting to buy one of these drones, now probably would be the best time. In the description below, I'll have my Amazon affiliate links to each of the drones I've talked about today. I always appreciate when you guys use my links and I hope you take advantage of these sales while they last. Thanks so much for watching guys. If you enjoyed this video, the biggest compliment for me is if you could share it with someone else that would also enjoy it. Of course, hit subscribe to stay up to date on new videos and feel free to comment below if you have any drone related questions or stories to tell. If you're interested, I also do online educational consulting and hands-on workshops where I teach you how to fly over whales and dolphins. More information is on my website and in the links below. I'll see you in the next video.